Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Johnny here to bring you the word for the day. Our passage is 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 through 12. And I'll go ahead and read that. Finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless. For to this you were called that you may obtain a blessing. For whoever desires a good life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him speak peace and pursue it. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Harmonious, sympathetic, loving, compassionate, and humble. These are words that are pretty much disappearing from the English language, whether it's on radio and television, and especially in the news and social media. Yet, these are godly characteristics that the Apostle Peter encourages us to have. These character traits are not unsimilar to what Pastor Chad and others have been preaching about lately, and Holy Spirit is teaching us. Sympathy is simply understanding others. I'm not just concerned with simply me, myself, and I. Listen, the world does not revolve around me. I know that. As a matter of fact, I like to think that the world revolves around all of us. We are on a journey through life, and God's plan for you and I is to practice, practice, practice love, compassion with a strong dose of humility. That's how Jesus relates to us. Verse 10 says, The one who desires life to love and see good days. Let me ask you today, do you desire a good life? Of course you do, and so do I. Let's read on. A person must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Oh, the tongue, the tongue and lying lips. The apostle James says that the tongue is a fire. With the tongue, we can bless, we can lift others up. Or we can burn someone down with gossip, with bad language, you name it. Verse 11 says, He must turn away from evil and do good. He must seek peace and pursue it. Listen, I know we all want peace in every area of life, but peace will only begin with turning away from evil. I believe the best place to find that inner peace we all long and desire for is by spending time with the Prince of Peace, and that's Jesus, in prayer, in the Word, and fellowship with other believers. And here's the motivation for us to turn from evil and do good. Verse 12 says, For the eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous, and his ears attend to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against evildoers. Listen, we sing songs expressing our love for God. Here at Calvary, we listen to Christian mu music about loving God on our radios. But it doesn't really amount to much if we fail to express our love to our brothers and sisters in the church and towards those who remain unconvinced about Jesus. I maintain that my vertical love will always be measured by my horizontal love. I simply cannot sing, I love you, Jesus, only to practice hate towards another. Fresh water and salty water do not flow from the same faucet, and neither does love and hate. Calvary, all of you, all of us, be harmonious, sympathetic, be loving, compassionate and humble, not returning evil for evil or insult for insult, but giving a blessing instead. Practice, practice, practice these godly character traits at church, at work, at school, and at home. Have a wonderful day. Love you, Calvary.